guys need to know how to stay this week. What does my community need to know most this week? Hello, everybody on Instagram. Good to see you. I'm about to do the weekly card reading for the coming week of December 20th. Um, so I am recording over there on that camera. Um, I'm here for you though. Uh, I will peek over this way and pay some attention to you as well. Um, but just know my primary focus is right over here. I'm very excited about um, just because of the, the full moon and how that's been feeling. Ooh, God, it's feeling so good, finally. Um, so I'm really excited to see like what comes up for us this week what um what comes out of the cards and as you know like i don't live my life by cards um what they do for me is inspire my own intuition and my own coaching practice um so that i can like talk about what mm, is meaningful to all of us so uh, for those of you who don't know me uh, my name is becky brett i'm an intuitive executive coach for artists, content creators, and entrepreneurs, anybody who uses their creativity to make a living. I use my creativity creativity to make a living too. And um, so I've got a couple things going on. The first is the Intention Seekers Sanctuary. Doors opened to the sanctuary this week, this past week. And it is essentially a goal setting, goal getting accountability group with a sexier name. <laughs> and also more magic to the process because I guide you through enlisting the help of your subconscious, figuring out what experiences your soul actually craves for you instead of setting goals that other people want you to have. Um, we go through a guided meditation, sort of hypnosis process to um, identify any energetic blocks like throughout your chakra system, if that is something that's meaningful to you, or energy centers, if that's another way you wanna look at it. And um, and then I guide you through step-by-step step setting your goals so that they are achievable and removing any percep per perceptions that um, might also be blocking you. So uh, there are other techniques that I have available to the group, which um, I will use as they request it. Things like mapping across, which takes you from liking something to disliking it or disliking something to liking it. Um, think like creating content. <laughs> if that's something you don't love doing, I can help you map across to actually enjoying the process. Um, also, things like anchoring, which you saw me demonstrate on the Shay show on Friday. Shout out to Shay Fairfield, my friend and client. Um, and so yeah, there are lots of things that I do to help, help people actually achieve what they want. Um, let's see, oh, I've already started recording over here too. Oops, sorry, I was talking to Instagram this whole time. I may or may not edit this out, <laughs> we'll see. Um, the other thing that's going on is the Relentlessly Human Tour, which is funded entirely through Patreon support. So fan funded um, completely. And that is a podcast, which will be dropping this week. I'm so excited. I'm going to be um, sending out five, ep yes, five episodes, one a day, Monday through Friday. So Merry Christmas, uh, if that's something you celebrate. Um, oh, hello. The map wisdom. I love that. I love that for us. Also, I'm dropping cards in the meantime, which they aren't popping out. I'm dropping them. Um, so uh, yeah, the Relentlessly hu Human Tour kicked off in November and the podcast episodes are gonna start coming out. Um, the tour continues in January and um, and like I'm oh, so excited. Um, I think I'm gonna hit, uh, hit, oh my God, no, hit up is what I was gonna say, but I'm going to um, connect with some local artists here in Abingdon where I live, Abingdon, Virginia. And um and do some interviews with them in December to, so that I've got something for you in January. But 
Um, that is a Relentlessly Human tour. Link in bio to support that on Patreon. Link in bios, links in bio for everything. So the sanctuary, the tour, the um, to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, book a, a single transformation session with me. You would be amazed at what we can do in uh, 60 to 90 minutes. Like, amazing. I mean, anchoring alone just takes 10 minutes. So we can transform um, a negative emotion that you're stuck in to something positive. How amazing would that be? Um, all right, time to get on with the reading. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk. Um, so what do we most need to know for this week? This is a release, receive, return reading. So in the release position, we have ambition, ace of flags, I think that happened to us before recently. Why do I feel like that? <laughs> In the receive position, we have construction or work. And in the return, we have overpass or differences. Interesting. And then what do we have at the base of the reading? We have the seven of arches or sacrifice. Ooh, 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 y'all. Okay, mm, let's see what this is, what's going on this week. I'm going to need some extra coffee for that. Okay, so as you may or may not know, I use the mantra of the labyrinth, release, receive, return, to inform my readings. It also um, serves as a little bit of a basis for my coaching practice, although less and less the more I learn of the taboo method. Um, so when you go into coaching with me, one of the first things we do is identify what's blocking you from your desired reality. What do you need to let go of? Um, and then when you let go of something, it sort of creates this vortex and you want to allow in something that's going to be supportive and helpful for you achieving the, your desired reality. So that's the receive position. And then the return is integration. When I do weekly readings, we talk about what do we need to let go of this week? Ambition. When this is in the release position, also Ace of Flags, flags represent your um, self-expression and creativity. Perfect for us, this audience. So the Ace of Flags, ambition. When this is in the release position, you're invited to look at where are you pushing yourself too hard? Where are you not allowing? So let go of pushing, and that this falls in perfectly with, uh, with the full moon right now. Um, so where are you pushing and not allowing? It's time to allow, allow things in. You don't need to push so hard. You, everything you want, everything you want is already there. It, it's like in your quantum field. It's already there. Everything you want already there. All you need to do is let it come in. So that's, um, like that's, that's all you need to do. Let it come in. I say that, but then the next card is construction or work. So this is in the receive position. Instagram, here it is. Uh, in, the, in the receive position. So receiving construction, building, putting in the work. This is different from pushing. Okay, so I want to make that distinction because you're probably like, um, Becky, you just told me to allow. <laughs> um, here's the thing. We still have to do the work. It's just, it's a shift in mindset and a shift in intention behind it. So when you are, when you drop the ambition and the need to push for an outcome, <clears throat> that's where this is, you are free to, to like kind of put your head down and put in the work that needs to be done. Um, things don't just, okay, things do magically happen. <laughs> they do magically happen. The thing is though, you need to still get the car moving. If we're gonna use a car metaphor, which I enjoy a good car metaphor, uh, you, you need to, like you can't steer a car that is sitting still. I mean, you can, but it's not gonna go in a direction. Your car needs to move. So that's what the work is. That's what this construction card is all about. Get moving, do the work. Try not to get hung up on if you're doing like the right thing or the efficient thing. 
that almost doesn't matter because everything is moving you forward in a direction. Like when you walk through a labyrinth, it looks like a maze, right? But there are no wrong turns, just the path forward. Just the path, that's all you have is the path forward. There's not a wrong turn. Even if you bump into resistance, that's just like, um, like okay, like right, oh, come on, Becky, here we go. Right here, you know, like you'll bump into that little bit of a wall and then just turn the corner and be able to continue on, right? So um, put in the work this week. It's time to just put in the work. Don't worry about if it's efficient. Don't worry about if it's the right thing. Um, also enlist some help, like there are two guys here doing it. Get some help. Um, but it is time to put in the work this week. And then we have a lot of bricks in this reading. <laughs> um, so not so much the uh, suits, but a lot of maze elements. And this is in the return position, the integration position. So overpass or differences. And this card, this, I do love this card so much. It, I don't know, some people could look at it as like a, um, a negative because they are, it seems like these two are never ever gonna meet, right? But the thing is, they have two different perspectives on the same maze that they are in. So if they work together, integrate, right? Work together, find someone who has a different perspective than you do and get their perspective on what you're on, whatever problem you're trying to solve or whatever you're trying to make happen. Because these different points of view are gonna be really helpful in doing the thing you wanna do, getting the thing you want, achieving the desired reality you want for your life. So I love this card. Like here they are, they're both, they're gonna solve it together, right? So he's got the detailed view, she's got the big picture. Together, they can make it happen. So whichever one you are, since this is a general read, so apply this however fits for you. Um, whichever one you are, find someone with the, uh, with the other perspective and enlist their help this week. And that's gonna really help you build the thing you wanna build and achieve the thing that you want to achieve ultimately, okay? Now, this whole, the base of the reading is sacrifice. Ouch, dang. Um, so what are you gonna have to give up? Probably some ego, <laughs> probably some ego is what I'm getting out of that. You're gonna have to give up like the need to be right all the time. Oh, did you see my Instagram that said, uh, I'm always right, not always. <laughs> Um, that came out of conversation with my friend Matt and um, but he said that and I took it. <laughs> he let me take it, to be fair. I told him I was going to take it and meme it. Um, so um, yeah, let go of your ego. Let go of the need to be right all the time. Let go. You're going to have to sacrifice that. And that might be a hard sacrifice for you right now. Um, there are some people who I've worked with and I used to be this way too. I used to have to like be right. I ha used to have to, and sometimes it's still, ugh, look, <sighs> there, are, there were times this summer, there or this spring, when I was just uh, annoying. I was. Um, so uh, that m may be hard for you. Um, something that someone, said, I can't remember where I heard it, read it, whatever, um, is that you're already in the room. You don't have to keep proving yourself over and over. Um, that stuck with me. And so there's a difference between like um, generating results and proving yourself. Like you don't have to keep proving yourself. Uh, you can be, just be, you know what I mean? Like live the example, be the lived embodied experience version of yourself and you don't have to keep like forcing it on people just be it and they'll notice and they will either fall in line or fall away uh both are beneficial to you <laughs> so yeah you don't have to keep proving it um so 
that's what I'm getting the sacrifice is given the other cards that um, you're gonna have to set your ego aside, set, a, set aside this um, urge to keep proving yourself right or to keep, you know, here's another sacrifice I would love to see more people make is sacrificing being the devil's advocate. Nobody wants that. Here's a helpful tip. Nobody wants the devil's advocate at the table. So there is a way to evaluate and offer feedback and say, hey, can we look at this from another perspective? But fuck devil's advocate. I hate that term. Oh, God. Wow, that really triggered something in me, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> Becky, let that go. Uh, yeah, no one needs or wants the devil's advocate. Leave it out of the room. Um, and instead, just another way to put that is, hey, um, what's, uh, you know, can we can we get a couple different perspectives on this? Or could I bring another perspective? Um and just kind of see what happens. You can be more playful about it, more loving, more compassionate. You don't need to bring the devil's advocate into it. If we, if we could, if I could abolish anything, it would be devil's advocate. The devil doesn't need an advocate. He's got plenty, plenty of, of vocal power on their own, you know? Um, all right, well, this is kind of cool. I do like this reading for us. You know, I'm going to pull one, uh, I want to pull one more card from the um, Threads of Fate. I've been really connecting with these cards lately. I did a pull from, a spread for myself last night for the um, the full moon. And ooh, it was really good. I do love these cards. Also, they're beautiful. Also, they feel really good in your hands. They're sort of... Um, they have this sort of like velvety texture to them in like a, you know, hard card, but um, they're very, uh, I don't know what kind of finish this would be called, matte, sort of satin, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they feel really good in your hands and they're pretty and I don't know, they appeal to me. They appeal to the Taurus in me, which I am. That's my sun sign. Ooh, okay. Um, what did this? Versatility, hey, that's cool. Okay, versatility, do a lot, a lot of different things. And that's, I think that's where this, you know, different perspectives, different ways of approaching things. If you're feeling stuck, what's another way you could approach it? Approach your thing. Um, if you are, if you've been doing something one way and suddenly your results are not what you wish they were, try another way. You are versatile. You're more versatile than you think you are. Get creative. You're creative. That's why you're here watching this. <laughs> so lean into that creativity and um, and lean into that versatility. Oh, I like this. You guys, this is gonna be a fun week. It's gonna be a fun week. And um, we're heading into Christmas for those who celebrate Christmas. Um, it's going to be, we've got the solstice coming up. So those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, or those of us, because I'm in the nor Northern Hemisphere, we're coming upon the longest night. So if you're a night owl, yes, this is going to be so much fun for us. Um, and if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, welcome to summer. Um, it is the longest day for you and how beautiful bask in that beautiful sunshine, the energy from the sun that powers our planet. Um, wow, what a great day we have coming up and a great week and feel this beautiful full moon energy all week long. Um, join me on Instagram at beckybrett.live. Some people are already there over here, hello. Um, so join me on Instagram where I'm going to be um, sharing some behind the scenes stuff of the Relentlessly Human Tour. And uh, also we have a Relentlessly Human Tour Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> so search for that on Facebook. Uh, I will include links in the description box below of all the ways that we can work together. If you want to support the tour, the Patreon link will be in there. Um, the uh, Intention Seekers Sanctuary registration link is in there and all kinds of wonderful things that we have coming up here at the end of 2021 and ushering in 2022. 
<laughs> so excited. I'm so excited for everything we've got coming up. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.